Hi everyone! Welcome to this video. I will be introducing metacognitive strategies. Today, we will be looking for metacognitive strategies of how they can help students and how you can implement it to the classroom. Firstly, what are learning strategies? Learning strategies has including mental and physical processes which are consciously controlled and selected by the learners to overcome challenging tasks. Learning strategies are classified into several general types which interact and support each other. The three types are cognitive learning strategies, metacognitive learning strategies, and social affective learning strategies. But in this video, we will be only focusing into metacognitive learning strategies. Well, the best students, however, can actually plan, monitor, and evaluate which kind of strategies works best and when to use them. Students display this kind of behavior often make much the great progress. And this refers to metacognitive strategies. Metacognitive strategies often described as thinking about thinking. These are the strategies which learners need to reflect on and identify their abilities and approaches to learning. For example, a student might consider how successful they were during the task, which strategies they did or did not use, which kind of strategies did they find most helpful, useful, or difficult, and what might they do in the future to improve their performance in the specific kind of skill. As a result of this kind of process, Learners with becoming increasingly autonomous in their learning since they are aware of their strengths and weaknesses. There are three types of knowledge that students need in order to develop and choose the best strategy. First is the person variable. This is the knowledge and beliefs a learner has about students' abilities as a learner. Second is task variable. Students need knowledge of available information, resources, and the task difficulty. Third and final variable is strategy variable. Students must identify goals. Students can use this knowledge by preparing and planning for learning, selecting and using learning strategies, monitoring strategies, orchestrating different strategies together and evaluating strategies and learning. So how can we include these ideas in the real classroom? Let's take a look to this which will help us to plan sections and which students can get develop the metacognitive knowledge and strategies. Part 1 is the planning. This is about the learners to preview initial ideas on how to accomplish learning tasks. This is an example of a worksheet a teacher used before reading task. Students use it to evaluate what they already know, what they are trying to find out, and the strategies that they are going to use to do that. Part 2 is monitoring. This happens during the class as the students are accomplishing the task. Learners monitor their progress and check language comprehension of production. In order to do this, the students must pause and take time to reflect on how things are going. The teacher can help by using tool like this one from the same reading class. The last part is evaluating. The learners consider and evaluate how well they accomplish the learning task and how well the strategies they use work. During the evaluation, they already taking steps to plan for the next time. 
This is the theory that supports metacognitive strategies. According to David Perkins, 1992, a key challenge for teacher is being able to recognize how well their students understand their own learning processes. Students can use strategies across different domains of the school curriculum. For example, a strategy that they have applied in a math lesson might be also effective when studying a language. Discussing strategies in class help students understand what strategies are available to them, how they impact on their learning, and why the strategies work. This is the study that used the metacognitive strategies. Metacognitive strategies in the teaching and learning mathematics by Stefan and Gary. According to their study, from their teaching experience, many mathematics learners do not like mathematics because they regard it as too difficult and they cannot see the relevance of mathematics for their everyday or future lives. Learners also regularly inquire about effective study methods in mathematics. The use of metacognitive strategies could address these concerns as teachers. By valuing learners' ideas and feelings, could assist in improving learners' attitude toward mathematics. Learner self-regulation could also be improved by the keeping of a reflective journal. By assigning real-life problems, Teachers have the opportunity to show the relevance of mathematics in learners' everyday and future lives. The metacognitive strategies identified in this study could serve as a guide in ensuring effective teaching and assisting learners to study and learn mathematics effectively. So, this is my sample lesson plan using this teaching strategy. Thank you for watching. I hope you have learned something on this video.